John Dowland's music is the it, it's peerless, really, of its time. He was writing at a time when the fashion was to be melancholic and sad. I believe he genuinely was sad and experiencing these, these things. Um, so we've paired his music with that of his contemporaries to show both a lighter side of the, of the time, um, but also to really etch out how great Dowland was and how he stood out amongst his peers. For most people, when you go to a song recital, the singer will stand and the pianist will sit because that's the way the, the, the instrument works and it's, it's easier to stand and sing. But in this recital, I chose to sit down partly because this music was written not for a concert hall, not for this kind of performance as we have here in the Wigmore Hall to hundreds of people, but actually it was published in small books and sold in shops to people who would take it home and sit around their table at night and play it with their friends and they could play the lute and one of them could sing or they could just sing on their own. So the idea is that you sit around the table, uh, you know, the old version of, as you say, playing Monopoly at the end of the evening, um, except you're sitting making music. So we wanted to sort of bring that again uh, to, to everybody here. So accompanying me in this recital are two of the, the best players in the business on um, the viola de gamba, which is the cello-like instrument, it's the predecessor to cello. We have Jonathan Manson, who I've worked with many times. He, he also plays in the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment, as well as has a wide career as a chamber player and a soloist. And then, particularly on lute, you'll see a lot of, is Thomas Dunford. We came across each other a couple of years ago and got on straight away. And, you know, to get on with an accompanist like that, like a pianist or something like that, is, is really great. So the chemistry is really brilliant. He's playing on what's called an arch lute, so it has a slightly extended neck, and it means he has these different notes at the bottom and some added strings. Oh, so what?